reached the point where we have the motors wired to some temporary hangers. Uh, Linux CNC is configured to run the motors, and we're pretty excited because, uh, at least at this point here, uh, if you watch, um, we got it, at least it's alive, it's moving, and, and we're proud of ourselves and we want to show this off. So we'll start with the Z axes, and then the X axes, and then the Y axes, just to kind of demonstrate. So here you're seeing that it's, uh, it's moving at uh, 150 inches per minute. Of course, it's slow, but we got to break the machine in. I really don't know uh, what the, uh, uh, the the maximum speed will be, uh, but if I get uh, you know 250, 300 inches a minute in rapids, I'd be pretty happy with that. So the uh, x-axis you see is under motorized. Of course, you know, you can do two axes at a time if you want, or all three. Oops. Had the wrong key. And then, of course, the Y axis. Of course, you can move these at the same time, too. And the Z. So you see all three of them are moving. So we're pretty pleased, pretty excited, uh, pretty happy um, that we're getting there. So the next thing that we'll do uh, is mount the router and uh, make a cutting table. And then uh, Zach is still working on the, uh, on the uh, side table. It's not really quite complete yet. And then when we're done with that, um, we'll uh, start cutting out the uh, dragon chain or energy chain or E-chain or whatever you want to call it. And uh, so we can get... Uh, some of the mess cleaned up and then we'll just keep uh, doing and documenting add-ons from there. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks.